Well, it's incredible. We're going to do it all again today. Yes. Because today <laughs> we're going to meet a woman whose phobia is affecting her career and having an adverse effect on her daughter's life as well. Well, Donna Dean has been plagued by a fear of dolls ever since she was a toddler. It's a rare phobia affecting only 2% of those questioned in our survey. However, Donna says that she's now desperate to overcome her fear. <laughs> My name is Donna Dean and my phobia is of dolls. I cry, I can't control it, I can't control how I feel. It's just a real fear, it's really, really scared. When I was really young, my dad gave me a Tiny Tears doll and I just cried the whole time. <laughs> and one Christmas I opened a box and a doll fell out on the floor and I passed out cold. The one thing that people will always say is, do you think it's going to come alive? And I just think, I'm not crazy. It affects things in me having two girls. My little one, Abby, is eight, desperate for dolls. So for her, I really, really feel disappointed in myself. Barbie is the root of all evil. <laughs> she really is. That is the worst. The first time I was aware of Donna's phobia, I was at work. I definitely found out then that she had some problem with dolls. A new woman that worked with us has her whole family had come in for a meal and her daughter had a doll in her hand. I looked straight at it, I just shouted, ran into the kitchen, ran past um, everybody in the kitchen and stood in the store cupboard crying. I went up to a table that had paid their bill and asked them if they were ready to order. I took drinks to the wrong table, I just couldn't, couldn't get it together until they'd left the restaurant. For Donna to go into a toy shop would be and to be able, it would, oh, I, I can't even think for her. I think it would be such a, she would be absolutely petrified. I know they're, they're behind me, so I feel really nervous. Oh, just to be able to walk in a shop and not feel like this, I feel absolutely petrified. I just want it to stop. I just want to be able to not feel this way. So this is obviously something that is incapacitating you. It's causing you problems at home. It's causing problems for your daughter. Yeah. Um, is, there a, is there a specific sort of doll that is the worst for you? The Barbie doll type. Um, Those sort of things are yeah, the worst the, the ones. Yeah, the smaller dolls. And because you sort of say, you know, you're with your daughter, you want her friends to come over and you want them all to play. Yeah, and definitely. This is a big part of your life that you're missing out on. Yeah, and she is as well. She. Um, if she goes to her friend's house, it's, it's, I play with dolls and I've, play, I've been at Lily's and I've played with dolls with Lily and I just think, I can't do it. I, yeah. I, however much I want to, I can't do it for a her. Have you tried other techniques? Have you tried other ways of trying yeah, to stop it? Yeah, I am. Um, because my sister's 12 years younger than me and I think my dad had had enough after about a year after she was born. And it took me to the doctors and I had a therapist for quite a few months and nothing came of that. Yeah. And then late teens I was hypnotised. And they just said, we can't find anything that's the cause of it, so we can't do anything. Well, you know, this is the part of the show where people say, you know, they'll be, the, our Twitter feeds will be full of people who say, you're so cruel, you're so cruel, but you can't have a result until you know what, how far you can go initially. No. And you know, we've discussed what we're going to do now. Yeah. And how and we've also said to you, uh, you say, I can't do this anymore and we will stop. Yeah. Now, so first, the first thing I'm going to do, and what I, what I, I can't actually see your readout of your heart uh, here, so if you can tell me what it is. 106. So it's 106 at the moment. Yeah. And if I show you a picture of the worst sort of doll, now that's, that is, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay do you want to put it away? Yeah. Okay, put it, just say, so put it away. That is an instant oh, reaction, yeah. okay. and that your heart rate's gone up to 141 at the moment. Okay, yeah. so that's so quite clearly high. clearly really distressed yeah. at the moment. All right, we're just okay. Yeah. Calm down right. a minute. Um, I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to tell. I'll, I'll tell you what's under here. There is a, a, a crib that's got dolls in it. Yeah. How, how would you feel if I just lifted? This is not. This is not something you have to do. If you don't want to do I it, don't even need to we go won't near do it. it. No, I'm okay. Sure. You're okay. Yeah. Slowly. I'm going to do it very slowly. And if at any point it's too much, just say so stop. Small. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I don't know if I can do this. 142, your heart rate. 144, 146. Okay. Yep, okay. Tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit. 
Okay, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stop there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, I think that peaked at 153 there. <laughs> um, the, underneath here is the one doll that your daughter wants. It's the one that she desperately wants. <laughs> now, there is no chance. Um, we, you know, we've got written down here. If you can pick the doll up, you, you can have it. But I mean, that's no, no chance that <laughs> no. that is going to happen. No. Could could Holly show a little bit of that doll, or would you rather we didn't do it? Don't do it as a um, test now. You don't have to do it. I can't no. Okay, that's sorry. absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. <laughs> absolutely fine. We've got. The, yeah. We couldn't have had a clearer indication of how serious this is for yeah. you. You can't fake that, can you? I mean, absolutely that is not. Something not at all. Absolutely not. Are you well, the heart right? yeah. We're not going to show you anymore 100. now. That's done. Yeah, that's done, done, done. And hopefully that will be the last time ever that you feel like that when you see a doll, because. You're going to work your magic. So I've got a big test this here. Hard, you can see this yeah, is a hard this is really one. Hard. No, sure. yeah, it is hard because she's had other therapies, so she's got the message that it, it, you know it's not worked before. Yes. Something from childhood. She's got no idea where it stems from. But we are really going to give it our best shot. It's fine. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen now. And okay. no one will surprise you. I promise you. Yeah. I You're absolutely done. promise you. With a heart rate Thank that peaked at 153, um, I, I spotted there. So that is very, very high. And hopefully this will be the worst it will be. Yeah, and now you can so. have a nice cup of tea now. And yes. Go and have a chat and, and we'll relax and we'll catch and up. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to see you, you later. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right, time for some of your comments now. It looks like I've fallen out with you. With Stephen and Mark. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, uh, obviously we're live, so we get your, your reaction straight away. And Donna, wow, um, you've got everyone going. I really feel for Donna, says Nicole. I so hope this works with the Speakmans. Um, Bethany Horton, I feel so sorry for this woman who's scared of dolls on this morning. I so hope it works. You've got so much support, Donna. Everyone really wants this to work, and we'll find out, obviously, a bit later on in the show. Donna Dean came face to face, very small face in fact, uh, with the dolls that have blighted her life. Well psychotherapist Nick and Eva Speakman have just over, they've had it just over an hour to help Donna work on her phobia and they're all with us now. So um, Nick and Eva, the thing about this, we knew where this phobia had stemmed from. This was the moment when Donna was a toddler and she'd unwrapped the present. So we knew the kind of route. Sort of, yeah. Sort of. Sort, sort of. of. She wasn't 100% sure. No. Um, you see, because what, what actually happened is that she was crying, and a, and a dad told her it was because of the doll. Ah, oh, she believed so, it. So, and you see, but she's bound to believe him because ultimately, how do you know you called Donna? Because he's told me. <laughs> there you go. So actually, we made her realise that you know what he told her wasn't actually correct. And well, With no malice intended. Of yeah, no, no, I'm not pointing <laughs> finger at your dad at all. Dads can say all sorts of things. Yeah, some people are more susceptible to it. Some people are not. You say that there is a specific age that you are more vulnerable at that time. Between five and thirteen. Uh, however, you know, ultimately, why do we believe anything? Mm. You know, why do we believe we're called what we're called? Because we're told. Because we're learned by replicating behaviour. Mm. You know, and unfortunately, sometimes we. We replicate the wrong things. Oh, I have a bad experience. We yeah. saw the, the, what that bad experience had, had done to you earlier mm -hmm. on. We saw the, the state of you and your heart yeah. rate, I think, peaked at about 153. Yeah, it was. You were in tears, you were upset. Um, and so, uh, uh, we got, have we got a little bit of that? Yeah, well, here you go. So, uh, so this, uh, this is Holly, who was lifting up the... Uh, I was trying to show you a cot with dolls in it. You can see there how visibly stressed that you are. Um, I have to say, sat here right now, still aware that there are dolls here behind yeah. you. Uh, admittedly, they're covered up, but yeah. you look, appear very relaxed yeah, and you're I smiling. Fine. <laughs> let me I just uh, let me recreate what we did before. Then, in that yeah. case, if you're happy with yeah, that, your fine. heart rate is at 90, well, 85, 82. Very relaxed. So this is what freaked you out before. Yeah. How do you feel looking That's at that? That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. You want to take is the picture? Weird? Is this yeah. weird for you? Because is this? It was weird holding that, uh, holding the picture and thinking I was scared of that. It's pathetic. Could you get up and continue? Yeah, so yeah. under here, we've got yeah. the, I'm, I'm, I'll let you do it this time. Um, if you take the heart rate monitor with you there, um, and then you can lift that off. This is this really bothered you before. Yeah, well, I we didn't. We couldn't even lift the corner I before. No, that's because I knew they were under here. <laughs> this just doesn't bother me in the slightest. <laughs> and that would have been your absolute I, worst nightmare. I can't nightmare. think of anything worse before of being in the same room. You flatlined. <laughs> <laughs> 
Please come. <laughs> <laughs> you're back, you're back, you're back, you're all right. You're back. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. OK, well, the final challenge was on to here. We didn't even get to this last time. And we said that if you could um, lift, the, lift this, reveal what's underneath, then you would get to keep this. Right. For your daughter. Right. Come round, uh, come round and do that. Can, Can you, you make it round? Way? Have you got enough cable? Yeah, I think we, so. I think we know by now, but this is not really affecting your uh, your heart rate very much at all. No. 97, 100 at the moment, 96. 96. So, um, underneath here is the toy that your uh, the, the doll that your daughter desperately wants to play with. Yeah. Um, and you haven't been able to look at it. You couldn't even lift that off earlier on. No. If you can lift that off, she can have the doll. <laughs> and that's what she wants. <laughs> that is scary. scary. <laughs> How do you feel She's looking desperate. at that now? I feel really silly to have been so scared. <laughs> Can you pick it up? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, well done! <laughs> Well done. So this is it. Your your daughter can have friends to play. You can she have can Dolly's have tea parties. Fun. She did say to me, um, if it works and you're cured, are you going to play with them? I said, oh, I don't know about that. I said, let's do one thing at a time. <laughs> yeah, I really can. <laughs> <laughs> Will you uh, take that back home with you, with all our love? And oh, thank, you uh, very and thank much. you so much. Well thank done. For coming you in today. Well done, you two. You are oh, incredible. We're so thrilled, honestly. I'm really pleased. <laughs> thank you very much. That was a, we really when we saw the reaction before. I've got to be honest. We came out of it thinking. Oh. Well, no matter how many great. times we do this, we sit and, uh, here and see that reaction and think, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> we did on this occasion yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we well, need to brilliant. multiply you and roll you out across the country oh, to sort thank everyone you. out. Thank um, you. Enjoy your weekend. Your bank holiday weekend playing with your dolls. Yes. Right. <laughs> right, don't forget, if you are affected by a phobia, a help could be available. Go to the website for details.